All right, well, that was quite an ordeal. Um, but you can see, so there's the 128 gigs of RAM. This is the, you know, I got the CPU in there, got the, you know, paste on it. Got this one there. And uh, now I have to, you see, it's got clips. So this one goes in the middle. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So I'll have it in there the opposite way, right? And then there's a second one right here, and you can see the clips for it. So you can put it on this side or this side if you want. Um, so with whatever case I end up getting, you know, the airflow would be like, you know, this way out the back of the, you know, the case. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I never... There wasn't as much, or uh, when I did this with my other uh, computer, it wasn't as complicated. I, well, saying this was complicated was the wrong word. It's just, I don't know, it was just kind of different than I was used to. But I've also not done it in like eight, ten years, whatever the fuck, whenever I got the AIO and that other one. Um, and in fact... <clears throat> you could probably, I guess you could see it in here. See, these are fans I got when it was overheating, but you'll see there's the, uh, the water block or, uh, yeah, the, you know, the water block on the CPU and then these tubes, this is the radiator and then it's got a fan here that goes out the back, right? So it's going to be the same idea with this one. And, you know, you can see how the GPU You see how the GPU would go right there, you know. And now it's basically finished. Aside from sticking the GPU in it and hooking it to the power supply and then figure out what uh, what I want to do as far as the drive to actually install the OS to, this is basically done, you know. Of course, you know, once I hook up my other drives, let's see, where are the SD? Okay, there's the, I guess that's the SATA port, no, where's my phone? I guess that's the SATA ports. Um, it's only four on there. I don't know, I'll have to kind of look it over. If, it, if there's only four, if there's only four SATA spots, that might be a bit of a problem, because... I've got like six drives or whatever. I don't know. I'll look into it, whatever. Um, if I have to. I mean, most I mean, most of the drives I have would fit on that 16 terabyte I bought. I just, you know, have to copy the data at some point uh, and then reformat it to try to see if it works. Or probably just one, use the one I copied it to for now since it'd be a safer bet. Hoping it was just like like file table corruption or something like that, and not a hardware issue. But yeah, so eh, I mean, if there's only four SATA ports on here, I could probably make do since you know I've got access to larger drives. But yeah, so pretty cool. So there's a uh, so right sitting right here alone, including the two fans I want to put put on it. The motherboard, the CPU, the cooler, and the uh, memory, the RAM. That's uh, yeah, like eighteen, nineteen hundred dollars. Or wait, hold on. Yeah, sixteen or I don't know, something like that. Seventeen hundred. The power supply, well, if you include the power supply, then it's about two grand. But, you know, this thing, I'll eventually get a 490 or something, but the GPU I have will, for quite a long time, probably, it's just, you know, at some point I'd like to have a high-end GPU, because there are a few, a few newer games I want to play, or that I do play, but 
you know, I'm kind of gimped on the graphics or whatever. Yeah, pretty neat, huh?